So in this video, I wanted to talk through some of my favorite rollerball pens. When I think of a rollerball pen, I think of something like this Vision Elite from Uniball. I think of a capped pen, usually with a liquid ink reservoir like this. Uh, you know, the technical definition of a rollerball pen is going to vary from person to person and vendor to vendor. And maybe you consider gel pens, which have largely displaced rollerball pens, to be a type of rollerball. But in this video, I'm going to look at what I would consider to be a very classic rollerball. I used to, always, used to always think of these as kind of premium or more expensive pens because they're so much more expensive than ballpoints, and ballpoints lasted longer, so it was kind of like a uh, double whammy there. But the price of these aren't that bad anymore, and uh, I could afford to buy something like a Uniball Vision Elite if I want. So uh, my, I would say some of my thoughts about these chain pens have really changed over the years. That said, people don't really use them as much anymore, but they still are fun to use. They have that smooth fountain pen-like writing experience, and there's a lot of variation even within this field. So just to jump right into it, I will start off with this Uniball Vision Elite. This is a very classic rollerball. It's been around forever. It comes in some different patterns, like this design edition, which look a little bit nicer, but we see all the hallmarks of what I would consider to be a traditional rollerball. Usually has some sort of upgrades, like it's not bare bones. This one has a metal clip. Really nice grip pattern there. This one is disposable, so it has that liquid, liquid ink reservoir, but it can't be refilled. Maybe you could pry the top off or the front off and fill it. Uh, but generally, a lot of these are disposable, which is another reason why I think they've gone out of fashion just you use a lot of ink with these like a fountain pen but most of them are not refillable just because if you were to make this refillable with a cartridge or something like that you're going to lose capacity so in order to get maximum maximum capacity they're no longer user serviceable similar if you look at like a macbook pro over the years the battery is no longer removable but by doing that the battery was able to maximize in size so it's definitely a trade-off there and uh, if you don't want to use a pen that's disposable and can't be refilled, I, I don't blame you at all. So this is the Vision Elite. It's a nice, smooth rollerball, fun to use, reliable. And uh, a lot of people still use these even today. We also have uh, some weird oddities in here, some oddities like this uh, Pentel Liquid Gel Ink. It's a rollerball. It looks like a rollerball. Uh, they call it gel, but it's a liquid. So to me, it's not a. Uh, it's hard to be a liquid and a gel. So there is some confusion in the category, but I will say we kind of see the same sort of pen. We see a plastic pen, metal clip, which is again the upgrade, rubberized grip, which is another upgrade. It's not refillable. I can't get at this reservoir. This one doesn't even unscrew. And we see a watery, super smooth ink that writes really wet with a fountain pen-like quality. This one, uh, yeah, it's not really my favorite, but it's a fun and kind of weird one, so I do keep it around. Moving along into that similar vein, we have something like this. This is the Uniball Eye. This is a very similar pen to the Vision Elite, where we have a very watery ink, fountain pen like smoothness this is a broad a 1.0 millimeter so we see a lot of width in here and uh, this is the u.s this is the sorry the european or international version of uh the uniball vision whatever so same pen kind of dr different dressing this one is a waterproof fade proof archival ink so it's good for uh you know sign checks or whatever this is a really nice one and uh i would say within the classic rollerball classic disposable rollerball, the the eye is really up there with my top one, so we'll keep that one set aside. The BIC, I forgot this one, the Atlantis maybe, oh sorry, this is the uh, the BIC 537R. This is very similar, in fact, it almost looks the same. A lot of these pens have that clear section so you could see that feed, which is quite cool, and this one does come apart, and we see it has a same sort of design, large reservoir, can't get at this. So disposable pen. I mean, technically, sometimes they don't say it's disposable, 
which you could buy. Sometimes you could buy this piece as a refill, but you're throwing out substantially, you know, what, half the pen, almost half. So to say it's refillable is a little bit questionable. So this is the BIC 537R. Just a uh, solid, reliable, but unexceptional offering in this category. Very much on par with the uh, Vision Elite, but uh, you don't see these too often in the U.S., and it gets much less recognition. Something you might see more often in the U.S. is this one. This is the BIC Grip Roller, and this has a much plainer, more kind of a budget styling, and I know a lot of people really swear by these. They're a good deal more affordable than a lot of the pens in the category, and they are sold in this micro, which I believe is a 0.5 millimeter, which is a really nice, smooth writer. You know, it's more scratchy than a 1.0 millimeter, but uh, you could do some, you know, pretty precise writing with this. And this one does have a rubberized grip. So if you need to use it, uh, you know, with your hands cold or something like that, it's a pretty good offering. A little plain on the styling, but very much in the mold of that disposable rubber, uh, disposable rubber, disposable rollerball pen. Amazon has not resisted getting into the category. This is the Amazon Basics. This is basically Amazon's take on a budget version of the grip roller. Or, you know, maybe they were going after a different pen. Uh, but you could see very similar to the other ones in the category. Doesn't come apart. At least I don't think this one comes apart. Rubberized grip, but pretty standard rollerball styling. This one's better than it needed to be. Uh, I really like that it has a... Just, I don't know, the blue has a, a nice sort of navy type appeal to it. This is that same sort of micro size. And these are cheap. I think you could buy a 10-pack of these for under $10. Uh, reliable. They don't look very good, I will say. It looks very bare bones with the plastic clip. No design here. Too big Amazon Basics logo. But they really do get the job done. So uh, would you, if you just care about the writing... This is a totally fine option, but a lot of these have some pretty cool styling. So this one is definitely a step down from most of the other ones. The Uniball Onyx is sort of one of like the, at least in my head, it's one of the oldest disposable rollerballs. I just always think of these from, man, so many years ago, I don't know, 15, 20 years ago, where we see this really dated styling with very thin plastic grip, no rubber, no texture, nothing like that. This is as bare bones as a pen could get. The writing is fine. Uh, you know, it's better than it needs to be, but uh, it's, you know, it doesn't stand up to a lot of the ones that have been upgraded over the years. This is sort of like your, uh, you know, 48-pack office-friendly rollerball that uh, was popular for, you know, for a while and isn't really as relevant now but they're still made and if you you know these these were the one of the pens that like if you never really thought about pens and you always had just a cheap ballpoint then all of a sudden you picked up or like in the hallway or on the ground you found a onyx this was like wow this is totally totally different like why is this pen so much different than the one i've been using and you kind of get that there's something different to a rollerball uh so it has that nice sort of legacy feel to it but uh, not really a pen that I need around today. It just, again, I have one or two of them just because it reminds me of back in the day. I did want to uh, specifically carve out some time to talk about three companies that really stand out to me in the space. First of all, we have Pilot. Pilot has the high-tech point, which is very similar to the Precise. I really like the high-tech point, which it is a cartridge-based rollerball. I did a video recently about refilling this cartridge or swapping out the cartridge, whatever you want to call it. And uh, this is just a really cool looking pen, refillable, so it's uh, not disposable, much more eco-friendly than the rest of the other ones. It uses a cartridge system. And uh, for me, this is probably the best looking rollerball, or, you know, this plastic rollerball that I could think of. That's the uh, Pilot High Tech Point V7, also sold in a V5, depending if you want something a little thinner. This is the Pilot V-Ball Grip. Pilot has just a bunch of 
different uh, rollerballs. Just they have a lot of them. The V ball, the V corn. The names almost seem like they were just kind of making it up as they go along. The uh, nice thing about some of them is they are available in a wider version. This is the V ball grip bold. The bold is the equivalent of a V10 or a 1.0 millimeter. This one, you could see it has that liquid reservoir, non-refillable style to it. This one's almost out of ink. And this one has a, a conical tip as opposed to a needle tip like the high-tech point. I like this one because it's a really nice rider. It is sold in the broad. I really, in case you hadn't noticed this point, I do prefer my rollerballs to be wider, 1.0 millimeter if possible. And uh, this one just has a kind of a nice styling. I like too, it has a kind of a, uh, this angled front end here. And these are pretty easy to find. So the V-ball grip, quite nice. Uh, a little bit harder to find is this one. This is the high tech point V10 grip. It's essentially the same pen. Uh, you could see even the front end is kind of somewhat similar. And this one does have the needle tip though, which is, uh, I would say generally for a rollerball, I'll go for the needle tip if it's available. So this is the, uh, uh, I can't keep them track. This is the high tech point grip V10. Same, same pen essentially, except that you move to the needle tip. The weird thing with the high tech point is that uh, the standard high tech points are refillable using the cartridge system. The high tech point grip is not. You see, you could probably just make it out in there. It has that big old school reservoir in it, just like a lot of the other ones. It doesn't have a cartridge system. So I really, really like writing with these. Anything V10 from Pilot is going to be really primo, but I don't use these as much as I prefer the cartridge system. The next company I really wanted to call out is Stabilo. This is a German company, I think. They're definitely, it's a more popular in Europe. And they have two pens that are basically the same, the Stabilo Black and the Stabilo Worker. Uh, the Blacks have a black body. The, uh, the Worker have an orange body. This is a really cool rollerball. Just a great rider. Interesting looking. Really smooth. They last for a long time. And... Uh, just a really, really great pen, underrated. Uh, underrated. They're a little bit expensive, so about $4 per pen, but I really can't recommend them highly enough. And uh, just a great writing experience, and they very, I don't know, they're very cool looking. They're glove friendly. Uh, I really like these, and I definitely recommend them. They are disposable, so if you are not into that, then the pen to get is this. This is the Stabilo. This is called the uh, Bionic. So it's like the Worker Bionic or the Bionic Worker or something like that. It's essentially the same pen as these Worker style. But now we move to a cartridge-based system. The cartridge is one of those things where the cartridge is a substantial portion of the pen, but not the whole thing. So at least you get a nice refillability and really great writing. Just a dark color, very smooth very reliable and actually very comfortable with this ergonomic design has a roll stop here so it doesn't roll when uh <laughs> it doesn't roll really when it's on the desk with no cap so definitely one of my favorites there last company i wanted to call out is these guys this is schneider these guys are a german company they make some fun roller balls there's this weird purple one it's, I don't even know if this is a rollerball or what. Uh, this is, their names are impossible to keep track of. This is the refillable one change. This is kind of a strange rollerball. It's kind of a, uh, you'll see this refill and you'll see it has a very interesting refill, kind of like, almost like a fountain pen ink rollerball. I mean, obviously this is the spare refill is one in here. So, if you're looking for a refillable rollerball, something like this Schneider One Change is definitely a way to go. The ink, it kind of, it writes like uh, like an Air Micro. You could see this tip, a Uniball Air Micro. It has that sort of like plastic ball tip, which I don't really love, but it is a refillable rollerball, which is a whole category unto itself. And I've done a few videos on. The more popular pen you see from Schneider is this. This is the One 
business. This is their sort of, uh, I would say their equivalent of the unit ball vision elite. This is their kind of standard roller ball for uh, you know, 12 pack that an office would buy, whatever this has really nice rider, really smooth, big reservoir and interesting styling. And it's just not something you see very often in the U S at least. And it's a very cool pen. I don't know if it's worth chasing down, but I really like the styling. It's very wide, it has all this rubberized grip area. It's uh, document safe. So it's very cool. That's the Schneider one business. Before wrapping up, I would be remiss not to talk about some of the oddities within the rollerball world. And it's not really an oddity anymore, but so this is a, I mean, it's a rotary jazz, but what is interesting about this pen is it uses what used to be a very standard rollerball type refill. So this is a, uh, this is called the Schmidt, uh, 8127. This is a standard rollerball refill. Uh, and back when rollerball pens were a little bit more premium and you might buy a rollerball as opposed to a fountain pen, you saw a lot of refills like this Schneider refill. It's a European rollerball refill. Quite nice, in fact. But you needed a pen body like this. These, and this is a full-size rollerball refill, these have really gone out of fashion over the years, and you don't really see them anymore. Sometimes you see Lamy making their own full-size rollerball pens, but they sell their own rollerball refill. So uh, this is a style that's really gone and gotten quite niche over the years. This is a Lamy's version of it. This is called the Lamy Swift. And this one has, I, uh, I have a Schmidt refill in here as well. This is the uh, 8120, so the two mil, the one that millimeter. But basically, my point of showing these is higher end rollerballs do exist and they have some higher end Schmidt and whatever type refills, Waterman, those still exist and you can get them if you want to get a high end roller wall body, but this is a style that's really died out over the years. The Schmidt refills have gotten increasingly expensive and increasingly hard to find over the years. So it's kind of become a very niche thing. And I don't really find myself using these that often. I used to use them a lot, maybe five years ago or, or so, I would, uh, you know, something like this Lamy Swift would be, I would say one of my mainstays and, uh, don't really use it so much. I would usually grab something like this high tech point instead nowadays this is the odo dude and i just wanted to include this to discuss how there are japanese pens with refillable roller balls as well this one uses the oto ceramic refill which is quite nice it's called like the uh the 305p or something like that and this is about a 20 dollars pen so really nice pen really cool body and it has a high-end rollerball refill in there, sort of like a European style refill, not exactly interchangeable with what you might find from Lamy, but similar concept. Again, this is something that exists, not that many of them anymore. You know, 20, 30 years ago, there would have been a ton of options. Now there's not a whole lot. So, uh, I don't really use these so much anymore. And lastly, there's a whole line of refillable fountain pen ink based rollerballs. Uh, you may not a whole line, maybe like 10, 15, 20 on the market. Uh, for a time I was using these more often and, uh, you know, now not so much the little, you know, the cartridges are kind of small. Their cartridges are fickle. They require cleaning. Eventually this front ball will wear out and these things will start leaking. So it's a fun concept. Haven't been using it too much these days. Okay. So now to wrap things up. This is the, uh, you know, too long, didn't watch version of this. My favorite fountain, uh, my favorite fountain, my favorite rollerball pens of 2022 are in order. I would say my favorite is the Pilot High Tech Point V7 in the refillable cartridge version. The Schmidt, or sorry, the Stabilo Bionic. This is the Bionic Worker, whatever you want to call it. This is the refillable version. Really great. And then if you want that sort of old school disposable version, you have the Uniball I. Uh, for me, I like it in broad, but that's just my personal preference. 
if uh, Johan only had to try two, I would say try the Stabilo and the Pilot. And if you only had to try one, uh, the Pilot, definitely my favorite rollerball. It's the high-tech point. You can buy the V7, but I like the refillable nature. I like how it writes. I like, I like how it feels. I like how it looks. And it has that needle tip, which I think is uh, the way to go for a rollerball these days. So there you go. A big deep dive into the rollerballs of 2022.